and welcome back to more Monkey Island. The curse of Monkey Island, I should say. So we have to grab this gold tooth. We can use the pack of gum. More gum? Yeah, it looks like you swallowed the last piece I gave you. Um, Thanks. Right, so let's grab the needle. Let's poke it. <laughs> Pop me bubble, did you? You got me again. <laughs> yeah, I got you good. Right, so now we have the tooth. We cannot walk out with the tooth. So. Can we blow a bubble ourselves? No. Cannot do it in the. Don't think the biscuit that will. That seems like a waste of a perfectly good biscuit. Can we wrap it in towels? No, that I think need we need the towels for something else. Mm. Pipe pan. Can we get the gold tooth out somehow? This was the pipe pan. I wish band. there was a real ship that I could use to sail the Blood Island. Yeah. I wish there was a real ship that I could use to sail the Blood Island. Hmm. A window. Cannot know. If has glue on its hands. Helium balloon? I can't use a balloon with that. I can't use a balloon with that. Alright. Oh. Hey! Where do you think you be going in such a hurry? What have you be having in your hand there? Well, what do you know? It's your gold tooth. Give it over. Hmm. Um... Must be a way to More get gum? it. Yeah, it looks like you swallowed the last piece I gave you. Thanks. There must mm. be a way to take it outside. Pop. You got me again. Yeah. But how do we? Can't we just throw it out the window? He'd see me throw it. No. <laughs> balloon? I can't use a balloon with that. This gold tooth won't do any good there. The gum is too hard. This gold tooth won't do any good there. Uh, I can't paste that. Shoot I it can't out. use the reed with that. No. This pipe pan won't do any good there. Mm. No. No. How the hell are we going to get the, the tooth out? There must be a way, right? But how? I would think we have to... It will, it will see us leave with it. So if we can find a way to make it go out, um, oh, boy. so I would guess tying it to the balloon. Blow a bubble with the gum. Can we blow a bubble with I helium? can't use a balloon with that. Oh, that's made my voice sound funny. <laughs> mm, 
tastes like sirloin. Okay, do we have to put the gold? I don't need a gold tooth. I've still got all my originals. The gum is too hard. This gold tooth won't do any good. The gum is too hard. How do we get the tooth in the balloon then? Or the... Um, how do we get the tooth? In the bubble. Hmm. This gum feels warm. The gum is too hard. There must be a way. Mmm, tastes like sirloin. Can we put the tooth in our mouth? This gold tooth feels slimy. It's a gold tooth. I don't need a gold tooth. I've still got all my originals. Mmm, tastes like sirloin. How? Oh. Are we going to... Oh, here we have chewed gum. Can we... The gold tooth is in the gum. Right. So that's how we're going to do it. So we mm. just had to chew gum first. Hmm. Cool. Wait one second. Do you have me gold tooth? No. Uh, no. Let me see. You don't have it? Darn. I'll have to order a new one. I wonder where that tooth fell. I think it fell right in here. Like a real gold finder. It's the gold tooth. Aha. Uh -huh. Alright, so now we can go to the barber shop again. Well, we can show the gold Check to Cutter and Bill. Up. Is that real gold? I guess you can find treasure. So you'll join my crew? Sure. As long as my partners will join too. I'll need one more sailor for my crew. Right, so we have to find a way to win the duel. Haven't I shamed you enough? You haven't <laughs> yeah. even begun to see me shame. Back to the field of honor then. Choose your weapon. Alright, so. I can use this box lid. I can use the. I choose the banjo. The banjo. I accept. You do? It's a game of memory, I think. Three, four, three, four, five. All right, round one done. So one. Was it two? I didn't see it. One, four, two, two. Um, one, four, two, two, three. So it's five. Two. One, 
four, three, four. Um, that's five. Wait! Stop! That last note was wrong! I win! I win! Woo! 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 Yes! You oh. lose! Oh, I am so good! What a sore winner. Want to try again? Sure. I'm just getting warmed up. Oh, it must be four instead of... Yeah, alright. Ah, oh, crap. Alright, so, three. Five. Two. Three, five, two. Three. Three, five, two, uh, three. Alright, three again. Another time three. Three again. Two. Four. Five. One. One. Five. Three again. So five, one, one, five, three, three. You're pretty good, boy. Let's see you follow this. <sighs> He's good. I'll never beat him. <laughs> um, gun file? Grab a pistol. We got a pistol. <laughs> we get <just, laughs> just take him on point blank or join me or die. What? You shot my banjo. You can't be sure of that. That shot may have come from the grassy knoll. Of all the low-down tricks, I never heard of anything so low. <laughs> I completely misjudged you. You are a pirate after all. I'd be proud to join your crew. Great. I'll just pack this stuff up and get ready. And give me back my gun. Well, I got my whole crew. All right, so we got the crew. And now... Barrel of grog and a chicken. <laughs> Look at all this stuff, mate. Oh, that must have been some battle. Let's pull up anchor and make for Skull Island. King Andre will pay through the nose for all this loot. Wait a minute. There's something else. It's uh, it's some kind of footwear. <laughs> hey, those are nice boots. <laughs> They're still hot. Ow, 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 ow. All right, so we have got we have got in our crew. So let's go. I think we have to go to the. Um, Beach. We got towels. I think we have to make them wet to get over the beach. Ice bucket. The towels are all wet now.
right? So we can. This works. I don't think we have to hurry. This might, they might just be burning up. <laughs> Lovely. Hello. Sunbather, quite uh, white you are. I want this mug. Thank you. Um, I'm Guybrush Threepwood. Very nice to meet you, Mr. Threewood. I am Pallido, Pallido Domingo. I am so glad you're here. Finally, someone on this island with some manners. And my drink needs refreshing. Take it away and bring me another. Uh, I don't think you understand. I'm a mighty pirate. I'm sorry, babe. I really sincerely am. Perhaps I didn't use the magic word. Take this drink away and bring me another. Now! I'm looking for Blood Island. Do you know where it is? Nope. Never heard of it. That's funny. That guy at the theater told me you booked all his shows there. Cromwell? I should have known. If I booked that guy in a dinghy, there'd be empty seats. So you do know how to get to Blood Island? Yeah, yeah. They had a really nice room there, too. The Good Soup Plantation Resort Hotel and Casino. It was the place to go before they moved the shipping lanes. I used to book so many gigs there, I had the map tattooed on my back. On your back? All those little yellow sticky notes just kept getting lost. Oh. Why did you lie and say you didn't know how to get to Blood Island? I, I, I just don't want to say. What? It's your face, babe. There, I said it, babe. I hope you can forgive me. I just gotta be honest. I just didn't think you were the right type for Blood Island. That's not some place I picture your career going right now. Let me get you a booking somewhere that's in your league. I can gig you at this little shoe factory in Hoboken. It's Blood Island or nothing. That's the way it's gotta be, babe. Then that's the way it's gotta be. But you're gonna have to find new representation, okay? Can I see your map to Blood Island? You can see it when I roll over to tan my back. When will that be? Could be a long time, babe. A very, very long time. Um... See you around. You'll probably turn over when he is uh, getting tanned. So that might be when we get him a drink. We have a mug. Can we switch it? Look, a three-headed monkey. Oh boy, oh boy. Gee willikers, is this gonna be swell? Hey! Just because you're a grown-up doesn't mean you can waste my time. Alright, so let's talk. I wanna buy some lemonade. Give me some more lemonade, you little chiseler. That'll be a nickel. That was as refreshing as morning dew. Hey! How did you drink all the lemonade? You switched mugs on me, you cheat. I hope you're happy. You put a budding young entrepreneur out of business. Hehe. <laughs> so let's grab the pitcher. Let's grab the mug. I don't need it anymore. Oh. Alright. But then... Um, I'd rather go around to the gate than go through that towel business again. Sure, sure. So we got... We can place the bottomless mark on his chest. Probably. I've brought you a new mug. Thanks. And then we pour in some lemonade. That way he might turn over. The pitcher's empty. Oh. Um. Can we 
ik doe alsof die ijs bakken. Nou, that would be pointless. Mm, no. Oh, I want to grab the cooking oil. How are we going to do that? You got a bottomless mug in your chest. Mm, no. We probably fill it up with some. Do we fill it up with water from the waterfall? Maybe. That might be something. Nah, that would be pointless. <laughs> Thank you for taking the time to point it out. Um, uh, is there lemonade here that we can grab? No. We have dye. It's red. Can we take the dye, make him think he is think he's sunburned? It's full of dye now. Is that a possibility? Possibility. We got the dye at least. Here's your drink, sir. You're burning! Ah! All those months in the sun and my tan is just gonna peel away! I better turn over! Good idea. Alright, so here we have the map. But now how to get the map? I'll never memorize that map. It's far too complex. So we need to take it with us or draw it. <laughs> Slash it off. Oh. Uh, maybe it was uh, it's possible. Um. I can't use the skeleton armor. Oh, all right. That's barbaric. I'd rather go around the long way than go across that hot sand. Yeah, sure, sure. We have to grab this cooking oil. I think. I think that will. Be how we do it, but how are we gonna get rid of him? Can we just? Yeah, I don't think he'd like that. No, I don't think so as well. Mm. Yeah, I don't think he'd like that. Can we grab more towels? Nice fluffy towel. I'll just take one more. Alright, so we have three towels again. <laughs> Throw a towel in his face. <laughs> or maybe. Maybe that works. The towels are all wet now. We can we can try at least. Papa Bishu! <laughs> All right. Um. Yeah, no. It looks like some of those are older than us. That would hurt. We got the cooking oil. Can we <laughs> just throw, throw cooking oil on his back? <laughs> Peel it off. Oh, that would be. Uh... Gotta be kidding, right? I really wish 
wish I didn't have to do that. Ew. <laughs> that was... That was <laughs> disgusting. Alright, but we got a map, we got a crew. It's the map to Blood Island. Peeled off Palado's back. Now we only need to take uh, now we only need to get a ship. Um oh, nice meanwhile. Boots, huh? Sorry. Hey, what do you know? I really am big bone. Uh oh, quiet! Here comes Captain LeChuck! Avast there, you lovers! Set sail for my stronghold on Monkey Island! I'll unleash my entire army of the undead! This time, Elaine will be mine! Ah, Elaine! It'll be a sweet day in hell when you feel the fiery breath of my kiss on your lips and become my undead bride. And I'll destroy any man who dares get in my way. <laughs> Suffering sailors, tis good to be dead. <laughs> All right, so. Now to get a ship, which is probably just this ship going going to be this ship. Um, but we have to we have to, to plug the hole somehow. We got wet. Dials that we're not going to be able to use here. Um, we got we got paste. Maybe we can paste something in it, but I don't know what. Mm. Is there something? Around. A waterfall. I don't see anything laying around. So how are we going to fix the sh fix the boat? It's going to be we need to find something else somewhere else. But where? Swamp? We haven't been to the swamp a lot. stuff in here maybe we can talk to madame voodoo um. tell me again how to lift this curse you need to replace the cursed ring with a pure one on blood island and to get to Blood Island, you need a map, a ship, and a crew. Map, ship, and crew. Got it. I want to know more about variable rate mortgages. Bad idea. Though attractive to the first-time homeowner, the rate reacts wildly to fluctuations in the market and can work against the buyer over time. You're best off starting with a 20% down payment and a variable rate mortgage, then refinancing at a fixed rate after one or two years as the market warrants. Could you repeat that? No. I want to know more about a career in TV and VCR repair. 
So you want to make more money? Sure, we all do. Stick to pirate. If I want to know more about the Aztec god, Quetzalcoatl. Really sweet guy. Not at all as bloodthirsty as they make him out to be. Shorter than you might think. All right. Thanks for your help. Gotta go. Um. Is there some sort of fountain that we can do? I don't think so. Mm, no. In memory of the chickens who gave their lives during the Great Puerto Pollo Potluck Jamboree of 1621. Is something in here? I'll teach these pirates what real culture is. Don't think so. I, you blocks, you I don't know what to... I don't know if meat. these guys you have, worse been, than uh, have some... Uh, function anymore. Is there anything down there? It's closed. This fountain cannot be used. Nothing here it seems. Um Cannot pick this button up. It says, "Ask me about Grim Fandango." I don't want people always asking me about Grim Fandango. Mm. Walk through. Sp Speaker, that's useless. No, I cannot go this way. So is there something here, maybe? Port bridge secret button. Fun. <laughs> nice. Um, but this doesn't do anything. Well, chicken. I feel like I'm missing. I am missing something. But I, I don't know what. That would hurt. Yeah. I would imagine. Mm. Is there anything on the bus cart? It's full of dirty dishes. There must be something here then. There must be something I'm not seeing. Something I'm missing with the, with the boat. Gaping hole. I can't paste that. I can't paste that. Mm, uh, come on. Biscuit cutter. Can't we? It's the right size, but I can't plug the hole with this. Can we cut something? Is 
so something here that we can do. Mm, no. Triangulation of crossfire. That's the key. Can we use this on a rubber tree? <laughs> now we have a rubber plug. Maybe we can glue the rubber the plug. The plug is all pasty now. Nice. So now we have a rubber plug with glue that we can put in the right sized hole of the boat. So that's what the biscuit cutter, cutter was for. Right. Come on. Walk to the boat. Gaping hole. Perfect. Um blank. Let's see if we can saw it off. Get on. Fifteen men on a dead man's huh? Who are you? I'm Guybrush Threepwood and I'm a mighty pirate. Well, we'll just see how your threats sit with my captain. You captain? Yes, Threepwood. You've come aboard the sea cucumber. I am Mr. Fossey, the first mate. And my captain? Why, he's the scourge of the seven seas! The dread pirate. Let's you... Yes, captain. It's on the table, sir. Lechuk! That's right. Captain Lech. Yes, captain. Just an intruder, sir. But I'm dealing with him. He says you're to be tortured. Choose your punishment. You can either be tarred and feathered, or you can walk the plank. Um. Any tortures not involving pain, humiliation, or stickiness? No. So, well, I suppose we'll have to go with walking the plank. We're trying to avoid using the tar and feathers. It's messy, and we need to save the tar for emergency leak repair. What do you say, man? <laughs> Shall we make him walk the plank? Well, the plank is quite short. What's that, Captain? Bandits. Well, it looks like we're having technical difficulties, Threepwood. So we'll have to drag out the tar and feathers after all. Tar, tar is super so nasty. So what do I do now? Hmm. I don't know. We've never done this before. Aren't you humiliated? I guess so, but no more than usual. Well, and just get lost then. <laughs> All right. Um. I'd better not now. I think I'm starting to make those guys angry. Alright, so... What to do? We've done everything here. Use the die, we've been through this route. We... Cannot do anything... I don't know. Um. Do you have a reservation? Mm -hmm. Madre de Dios! Es el pueblo diablo! What? <laughs> si, 
He dejado en libertad los prisioneros y ahora vengo por ti. Well, you're not taking me without a fight. <laughs> what? Ugh, this chicken grease washed off all the feathers. <laughs> Whoops, I better keep quiet. Absolutely, Captain. I'll get right on it after I have my dinner. What's that, Captain? I eat too much fried chicken. Well, I... I've just got a weakness for chicken, that's all. I know you don't have any weaknesses, Captain LeChimp. You're an overachiever, a doer. Well, I'm just a tiny little fly. LeChimp? The captain is an ape? Well, if the captain is an ape, then Mr. Fossey must be... Aye, aye, Captain! Fresh bananas for the whole crew! An utter loon. What's that, Captain? <laughs> Your parasites are bothering you. Well, of course I'll groom you, sir. You know, sir, finding this gold statue may be just the boost our crew needs. What, with the riches we get from this, we can get new and better ships and become the terror of the Caribbean. Um. Ah, I hate porcelain. It's a long story. I'll explain later. All right. Um, what the hell? I don't think he'd like that. I don't think he'd like that. I can't use the skeleton arm with that. I have no. I'm not in the mood for fruit. What the hell? Treasure map. I can't use the skeleton arm with that. Hmm. It's too bad. I think Mr. Fossey is the only guy who can talk to him. If he knows I'm here, he might do something even more horrible to me. Yeah, that might happen. So how can we do something without... Chicken... <laughs> We've got some chicken grease. Nice. Um... What can we do? Then Trillo with some book. Oh. Uh, uh, testing, testing. Uh, check one, two, uh, uh, three. Uh oh, I'm hearing the voices again. <clears throat> Mr. Fossey, I've been thinking. Are you all right, Captain? You sound different. Don't interrupt. <laughs> Sorry, sir. Maybe it's time we gave up pirating. I mean, take a look around at me and the rest of the crew. We're all monkeys. You mean in the Darwinian sense, sir? No, I mean in the quite literal sense. Uh, have you noticed that the crew is happier swinging from the masts than swabbing the decks? I don't even want to mention what they've been flinging around the ship. Are you suggesting that I'm not disciplining the crew enough? No, no, I'm suggesting that we all give up this charade and go back to the trees. That's the life for a monkey, not sailing the seas for months on end. Well, I, if you feel so strongly about it, sir, I suppose I can't argue. I think our last order of business should be to dig up that statue and... It'll be tough on the men, sir, but I'll tell them that you think it best. Okay, but first we should dig up that statue and give it to... I'll make sure they understand that it's not their fault. Very good, and then we can dig up that statue and... Okay, never mind then. Map to where they've buried Elaine. With all eyes open, follow the path to the X. South. What? Southeast, northwest, west, southeast, two paces northeast, east, southwest, X marked spot. Um. I don't want another biscuit. We want bread. I can't imagine any need for a loaf of plunder bread. Um, I'm not in the mood for fruit. Is there something else we can do? I don't think so. Do we just get out then? There's no rowboat. 
Um, I want this hat. No, doesn't work. Chicken grease. Chicken grease won't do any good with that. Yeah, I don't think he'd like that. Yeah, I don't think he'd like that. No, I see. How the hell are we going to get off the ship? Tickets. I don't go in for all that highbrow, artsy theater stuff. Oh. Besides, if I want to enter the theater, I can always use the stage door. Yeah, sure, sure. I'm not in the mood for bananas. Is there something else? Oh, we can maybe open the hold. Mm, no. Can we... Strange. The hold is full of broken luggage. Hmm. It's empty. <sighs> All right. How do we get off this freaking ship now? I mean, we need to we speak to the chimp. I think Mr. Fossey is the only guy who can talk to him. Can we? Um, maybe open the portal. Ah. Works for well enough. Right, so now we have a treasure map. So where did they bury the statue? We still have those lamps in the theater, which are covered in bananas. Right, so, so let's try the southeast. This this one. I don't think that would. Um. Southeast, northwest. Let's write it down so we don't have to look on the paper constantly. Right, so southeast, northwest, west, south, east, north, east, twice, east, south, west. So we've done southeast and northwest. Then west and south, east, northeast twice, east, southwest. Oh, wait, wait. wait south, southeast, northwest, so west. South, east, northeast twice, east, and southwest. That's it. That must be where Elaine is buried. All right. So and now, that the works. The moment I know you've all been waiting for. How about some amazing juggling? Ooh, juggling. Um. Is this a dagger I see before me? No, it's three. See how I juggle these knives? At great personal risk to myself and to you if I slip. He's a great juggler, but I sure wish he'd get off the stage so I can dig Elena. How are we going to get him? 
after stage. Can't we drop something on him? No, I like the natural look. Alas, poor Yorick, I knew him. And his two pals. Whee! <laughs> um So how are we going to get him off the stage? It's locked because the performance has already started. Sure. We cannot go up anymore. If we I don't want to haul those cannonballs around. Probably have to do something here. Mm. He's juggling all sorts of things. Will he be juggling cannonballs and fake spears and swords? Uh oh, it looks like he's coming for the cannonballs now. Hmm. And now the ultimate Shakespearean delight. The famous cannonball juggling scene from Romeo and Juliet. Whoa! Whoops! <laughs> a terrible. Happy ending, and he got the um, got the girl in the end. Alright, so now we can grab the shuffle. Hooray! There we go. Elaine should be safe up in the crow's nest, for now. Oh, you got everything. We got a girl. Well, I've got, we got a, a crew, ship. a map, a ship, and finally got Elaine back. So let's say we head on to Blood Island to lift the curse and save Elaine. How about it, guys? Let's get moving towards Blood Island. Let's head on out and find our fortune, guys. This might be more difficult than I first imagined. <laughs> Part free. Ah, the sea. Ah, the, the sea. sea. Makes you glad to be alive. I think that ship is following us. Feel that salty spray. The sunlight sparkling off the bay. What a glorious seafaring day. It's a pirate ship. We've got to outrun her. All right, men. Are you with me? Hey. Look, guys. A whale. <laughs> Where? Where? That ship is gaining on us. Cutthroat Bill. Rig the topsail. Is that a right whale? No, no lie. They're boarding us. Crew, help me out here. It is a member of the Cetus suborder, Mr. Shetty, though. I think you're right. <laughs> well, well. Rottingham, so it's you. What do you want, other than a good toupee? I've come for your map to the favored blood alarm. Then I'll I'm blood alarm. diamond you mention. It'll make a fun paper well for my escritoire. Ooh, look. It's breaching. Ooh. <laughs> ah. Look, Baldy, I'll I never do that. I love man. those guys. I needed to save Elaine. Then I'll have to take it from you by force. That whale must be 30.5 meters. 100 feet. And weigh 200 metric tons. You know, of course, in a sword fight, a sharp weave is much more important than a sharp blade. Of course. Everybody knows that, Chrome Dome. Let's get this over with. Every enemy I've met, I've annihilated. Oh, yeah? Well, you fight like a cow. No, 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 no. That's not right at all. What? On the sea, we fight it a little differently. On the sea, all your insults and threats have to rhyme. What? <laughs> so when I say every enemy I've met, I've annihilated, you say... I once found some gold, but it was just electroplated? No. You say, with your breath, I'm sure they are suffocated. Then try that again, shall we? You're as repulsive as a monkey in a negligee. Uh... I'm waiting. I... Uh, I... Just as I thought. You're an amateur with this world. Give me that map. Here, take it. That's your map? Yeah. As soon as I'm through piloting these waters, it's off to blood alone. Until we meet again, Monsieur Tweebud. 
<laughs> I've got to get that map back or we'll never find Blood Island. Thanks, guys. You were a world of help back there. It was a rousing battle, Captain. Aye, and it reminds me of a song. With a band of vicious pirates are sailing out to sea. When you hear a gentle singing, you'll be sure to turn and flee. Oh, this is just ridiculous. Men, we've got to recover that map. That pirate will be done for when he falls into our trap. We're a club of tune for rovers. We can sing in every clap. We can even hit the high notes. It's just too bad we're tuned down. A pirate I was meant to be. Trim the sails and roam the sea. Let's go defeat that evil pirate. We know he's sure to lose, because we know just where to fire it. We're thieving balladeers. A gang of cutthroat mugs. To fight us off, you won't need guns. Just jolly good ear plugs. A pirate I was meant to be. Trim the sails and roam the sea. Roam the sea. Crew, let's get to work. Our vocation's a thing we love, a thing we'd never shirk. We'll fight you in the harbor. We'll battle you on land. Oh, when you meet singing pirates, there'll be more than you can stand. Oh, that was a good one. No, it wasn't. No time for song. We've got to move. The battle will be long, but our courage we will prove. We're a pack of scurvy sea dogs. Have we pity not a dram? We only roasted garlic. Dancing from the diaphragm. A pirate I was meant to be. Trim the sails and roam the sea. Less singing, more sailing. When we defeat our wicked foe, his ship he will be bailing. If you try to fight us, you will get a nasty whack. And if you disrespect our singing, we will beat you to a crack. And a a pirate, pirate I was meant to be. Trim the sails and roam the sea. I'm getting so sick of you guys and your rhyming. We're ready to set sail, though the cannons need a priming. We're troublesome corsairs, and we've come to steal your treasure. We would shoot you on the downbeat, but we got to rest five measures. A pirate I was meant to be. Trim the sails and roam the sea. and the deck is what we're mop. You say you're nasty pirate scheming, thieving bad bushwhackers. From what I've seen, I tell you, you're not pirates, you're just slackers. A pirate, a pirate I was, was meant to be. Trim the sails and roam the sea. We'll surely avoid scurvy if we all eat an orange. And, um... Well, uh... Door hinge? No, no. Guess the song's over then. Guess so. Okay, back to work. Well, gee, I feel a little guilty now. Oh man, I I just really love that part. Captain. Uh, yes, I Mr. think Department. I think it's so we great. Were wondering, we were just what kind of captain you are. What do you mean, Haggis? Well, some captains are men of action. They like to have complete responsibility and control for their ship. Other captains prefer to concentrate more on the thinking aspects of captaining. The captain who's a man of action will undoubtedly have a much more difficult time of defeating other scoundrels of the sea in the fast-paced realm of ship-to-ship -ship combat. 
The more academic captain will find the other pirate vessels he meets to be less aggressive and therefore far easier and quicker to defeat in combat. I see. So, Captain Threepwood, which type of captain be ye? I love a tough sea battle. I love a tough sea battle as much as the next captain. Challenging ship combat it is. Right, so we will save the rest for another day. Um, yeah, that will be it. I got, I got the best part of the whole game, in my opinion. I just love it. Well, thank you for joining me again, and see ya later.